Um, do you want to see? Do you need ID, sir? Do you need ID? Oh, you got to press the button. I think. I th okay, I want an ID. <laughs> you want an ID? I got an ID. Check it out. I got a twenty dollar bag of ID. <laughs> McLovin. Sir, can I interest you in some ID? <laughs> the twenty cent. Hey, I just wanted to uh, let you know if you or any of your police buddies need, and I, I got a twenty bag of ID for sale. A twenty bag. It's an ID. I think me and you had a misunderstanding, so I wanted to clear it up. Um, you know, I forget that sometimes cops are a little slow and have a learning disability. But Harvey Freebird and I went into unchartered, untapped, and virgin territory. The very exclusive elite, ultra-wealthy, and super-exclusive town of Trophy Club, Texas. Home to the who's who's of the most wealthy people in Texas itself. One of those famous exclusive members, Kenneth Copeland. This guy. You said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. A lot of these homes cost in the range of millions of dollars to multi-millions. And a lot of these people made their money through capitalism, which brought us to two questions. Are the police different when serving the ultra-rich? And would they appreciate Harvey Freebird's attempt at capitalism? So Harvey went into the Trophy Club PD amongst these million-dollar homes in an attempt to make it big himself with an item that was guaranteed to sell, especially to this market. A market full of cops. And who knows, one day one of these houses might just belong to Harvey Freebird. And being a successful business person is all about understanding supply and demand. If you have a heavy demand and you're the only one with supply, then in effect you've cornered that market. Now we all know what cops are always looking for. That ID. They need it bad. That's the demand. Harvey Freebird? Well, he's the supply. It's a joke ID, but it's also super funny. Check out my man Harvey Freebird. His channel link is in the description of this one. Tell him AFA sent you. And let's enjoy these cops. What's going on, everybody? We're in Trophy Club, Texas, at the Trophy Club City Hall and Police Station. Make sure you go check out my buddy Harvey Freebird. His channel link is going to be in the description of this video. Um, Harvey, tell us a little bit about this neighborhood, this area. I just know that this is a neighborhood of millionaires. Uh, the name of the town is called Trophy Club, so that ought to tell you a little something about it. Um, honestly, this is the first time I've ever been in this town. They're probably not used to our kind. Our kind, no. I think, meaning the, the peasants. No, they're not used to us. Um, I would love to pull some records requests and see what kind of crime they have in this millionaire-infested neighborhood. I'd like to see how much their cops get paid at a starting pay. Yeah. Those are all some good questions that we're going to figure out today. Trophy club. Sounds like they're barbecuing in there, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, that Holiday Inn, you can notice it's a Holiday Inn, but the hotel that I'm staying at, like, you can't tell from the outside it's a hotel. It's almost like the only people they want to know about it are the people that already know it's there. Yep. Oh yeah. I've been for 30 years, so I'm always checking it out. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you, sir. Choose your door. It's too hot outside. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, at least they got the air on in here. Trophy Club. How are we doing, man? Very nice. Hey, how are you, man? Uh, I'm good. I didn't want to bother you. I was just looking at what you had going on in your computer. That's all. Thank you. <clears throat> Certificate of occupancy. Oh, this one's for a veterinary clinic. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's like, it looks like they're probably opening a new one or 
They're redoing an old one. Me oh, meet you anywhere. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I guess they're kind of like a DoorDash for meat services. What would you find? Mail with addresses on it. Wow. Oh, that's true. You can see the mail right there, yeah. Hey man, this ain't what I signed up for, man. This is what do you mean? This is not what I signed up for. This is not part of the mission. It's not it's <laughs> what, what do you mean no? <laughs> I'm with you. I didn't need to stop my foot. <laughs> you got a big foot, Harvey. Oh, this isn't too bad. This is nice. Nice council chambers. Very nice council chambers. It's a nice building. Half. I just I just push the buzzer. Ooh, that's my belly. Oh wow! Did you see the council chambers? Yeah, it was, they, they were nice. Oh, here we go. Hey, how are you? I was wondering if you could help me. I'd like to submit a records request, but I, I wanted to drop it off in person. Sure. Um, so I don't know who I might be able to turn that into. So the only, the only way I know is to do it online. You can do this with uh, record submission that way. It's through our website. Um, if you wanted to maybe go there and print something out and then fill it, hand fill it out. Or print you know, I'll make it really easy because what if you have a blank piece of paper, sure. then I could just, it's, I'm only looking for one thing. Well, no, it's super easy. Maybe you could tell me. I'm just looking for the base salary of a of a police officer starting with Trophy City. I know it might fluctuate based on experience. So that one for sure, I would take it to the website. So on the website, it'll have the most current updated positions. You got it lift, listed on there. It gives you the different departments. And all that good stuff too. Gotcha. All right, that works then. Good. All right, good to go. Sorry. What was your name? Good citizen. Good citizen. Pleasure to meet you. Have a good rest of your you day. You too. Thanks, man. Hey. Uh, do you want to see? Do you need ID, sir? Do you need ID? Oh, you got to press the button. I think. I th okay, I want an ID. <laughs> you want an ID? I got an ID. <laughs> Is that part of the mission? Oh, he's he's got he's just getting his ID, guys. Check it out. Wait, what do you got there? Twenty-dollar bag of ID. <laughs> McLovin. Sir, can I interest you in some ID? <laughs> It's a 20 sack. <laughs> it's a 20 sack. <laughs> we'll ask him when he comes back. <laughs> I think if you press the button, like they come every time you press the button. It's kind of like being at the deli. All right, let's press it. Let's see if I can interest him in this mine. You know, Who did I miss a call from? They're not going to be able to resist this. <clears throat> oh, man. I got to go take this. Hold on, what's going to be? That's going to be great. And what if he's looking for 10 back? Because that's only a 20 sack of ID. Hey, I just wanted to uh, let you know if you or any of your police buddies need, and I, I got a 20 bag of ID for sale. A 20 bag? It's an ID. It's an ID. Uh, you know, I know you guys like IDs. You like to run the numbers in the birth dates? 
What's that? Police in general. I'm just trying to offer you guys a service with an ID. It's a $20 bag, I'll take 15 for it. 15 bucks for this ID. It's an ID, it's not mine. No, it's for sale. I think if I could be the the voice of kind of yeah, yeah. tran translation. Are you slow? Did you go to the slow school or what? I, I think he's just saying that he has this ID here, and it's not his ID. He's just looking to sell it. It's a he's just looking to sell it. I bought this off of Amazon, and I'm just trying to. Sell it. <coughs> you can buy these on Amazon. See, it actually says on the back, not a real ID, but oh, do you want to look at it? You could run the birthday and stuff on it. Would you like me to get an officer up here and take a police report? Is that what I asked for? I'm not clear what you asked for. You seem like you're a little slow to me. All right, gentlemen, you guys have a good day. I mean, was that rocket science or what? <laughs> no, I don't. Do you want to buy an ID? Do you want to buy an ID? Uh, do you want to make a police report or what? <laughs> Jesus you were just selling a, a fake ID, a joke ID. A McLovin ID. A McLovin ID. It says on the back for play only. Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't... He was trying to hit me up like, is that your ID? Yeah. No, it's <laughs> not mine. <laughs> See, and this is why the moment I realized I was going to have two days to myself in Texas, I immediately reached out to Harvey <laughs> Friedman. Because, uh, and I want to point something out. He didn't yell. He didn't insult. He didn't call names. He he simply stood there and was himself. Yeah. And then that happened. This is not what I signed up for. This is this isn't what he signed up for, guys. This is not the mission. Hey, he seemed like he was being combative. Didn't he? he he was being disorderly. Do I need to glove up? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he needs to glove up. That was. This is not part of the mission. <laughs> I got. I had to deal with the kid problems. You, 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 didn't miss anything. you screwed up. Oh. Grab your camera. I'll show you. I don't know. See, this is Harvey. He just missed this, and we didn't know about it. And now we do. They're superheroes. Oh, yeah. Okay? I already knew that. I didn't miss anything. <laughs> they need to be treated. That's, this is not the mission. Yeah, I didn't sign up for this. No, and we should have called and thanked them for their service. What are you waiting on? Did you call anyone to ask if it was okay for us to even do this? We should have got permission. We, Harvey, you, you, know, you know better. I'll let this guy an apology. I think we should. How long ago was it you asked for a piece of paper? No, I got the information I needed. Oh. All their records are online. Oh, I thought we were waiting on them to come back. No, no, I went outside and I checked, and the records were all online, like you said they were. I mean, it was my bad. I had to call my. I'm staying here waiting on them to come back the whole time. I need to. You need to. This isn't the mission. Yeah, I need to clear this up. I mean, and, and <laughs> from, from the heart. Okay? I'll let him know that I talked to you. Yeah, we also, had a, we had a little misunderstanding. There was a misunderstanding, because I mean, I. I need to clear this up. I don't. I don't know. Like, I'm. I'm gonna make sure, guys, that he's held accountable today. And it's just. It's just not the mission. They are superheroes. And they're Avengers. <laughs> it says it right there on the. They have a friggin' picture. I can't believe I've been standing here the whole time waiting on that piece of paper. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought you were just standing waiting to get and gloved I up. To uh, reiterate the misunderstanding we had a minute ago. Yeah, it was just, and that's it. it but, just a, but I think you scared them off I mean, because that wasn't the mission. Wasn't I pretty clear about what I said? Yeah, you were, but it doesn't matter because it, it's not the mission. Him acting dumbfounded kind of confused me a little bit because I thought I was pretty clear on what I right. said. You were just selling a 20 sack of ID. Yeah, it's called You're willing to take 15. It's called capitalism. Right. right? I paid eight ninety nine for this on the internet. Okay, now it's for sale to cops for 15 bucks. Because they want it so bad. Yes. How is? How did he not understand that? It's called capital. Oh, he's coming. He's coming back. He's coming back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let him know. Yes, sir. Hey, there. I just wanted to let you know. I spoke to one of your other detectives. Maybe he was in plain clothes. 
He was really nice. He gave me the answers to my question. Did you talk to him again? Or? Well, I just wanted to let him know. I think this gentleman made a mistake. We had a misunderstanding. There was a misunderstanding, and, and I just wanted to let him know that there was a misunderstanding and an okay. apology should be levied. Okay, I can go get it. If he, yeah, because it's just, I'm the voice of reason here today. This wasn't the, you know, okay. that's all. I just wanted to sure, let him know that there was a... Hey, I've got a, a, an ID for sale, too. I paid eight ninety nine for it on Amazon, and I'm trying to sell it for 15 uh, he's got a, he's starting his own like ID company. But yeah, that guy was really nice, so okay. thank you. I mean, well, you can order it through Amazon, but you'll have to wait on shipping and handling. I, I got it right here. <laughs> it's, it's really brilliant, though, because cops want ID so bad. Yeah. Harvey had, just has it like it's right there. It's, you know, 15 bucks, 15 little bucks, man. Right? Put that you, shit in my hand. In my hand. <laughs> if that money doesn't show. Look, it's even got a fake birth date and fake numbers they can run, you know. See, that's an entire yeah, yeah, Give them the fix they need, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, this will get a cop out of withdrawal in a hard time, you know. Yeah, they will. Do you think this other guy is going to come out? I told him to. 15 bucks, little man. Put that shit in my hand. If that money doesn't show. And I, I, ho I hope he comes back out because... That wasn't the mission. The first cop was being combative, so I had to glove up. Yeah, you had to, you had to glove up. <laughs> mm. I like using props. <laughs> props are fun. I've got a piece here. Listen, I, I just wanted to, I'm kind of the leader here, and I just wanted to let you know, I think you and I had a good altercation. Good, I think thing, I conversation. conversation, yeah. Things got off a little bit to the wrong foot, and that's not the mission. So I just wanted to, he, he wanted to take an opportunity to set things right with you. So yeah. that's why I just wanted you to come back out here. Well, I think you should. I think me and you had a misunderstanding, so I wanted to clear it up. Um, you know, I forget that sometimes cops are a little slow and have a learning disability, but in America we have capitalism. So I paid eight ninety nine for this on the internet, and I'm trying to resell it for 15 bucks. Do you understand that? Because earlier you didn't understand what I was saying. But I know you guys like ID, so. I think he, 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 he thought that he knows cops like to ask for identification. So I think, I no, no, I know, I know you didn't. I think he was thinking that maybe if I, if I bring them, if I pay for it out of my pocket and I bring, I think it was his attempt to, to make things easier for you. I don't he, think he was trying to, to hurt your feelings. Certainly that's not the mission. He still looks confused, look. He doesn't understand. Well, I think he, he, he doesn't have a problem. You don't have a problem with me, sir, right? I've been very polite. and I, Thank you. And I think that... I mean, all you yeah. have to do is say, no, you're not interested in buying the ID. But you're acting like you don't understand what I'm saying. I understand that you're trying to sell it. To let, let, let's switch. You be nice. All right. And I'll be the jerk. Okay. Listen, I got, I got a 20 sack of ID for 15 bucks. You don't want the ID? He unders he gets it now. Wait, is he a better bad guy than me? Yeah, I think so. Listen, listen, you jerk. You're a real and he back there, he's got some bars. What is he, a lieutenant? I don't like that guy either. <laughs> See, he's being nice. Yeah, stuff, okay, I, I got it right here. I got like if you're itching for it. I just don't understand why he didn't <gasps> understand me. He understood you perfectly. And I called him names. Me. Wow. And he you had to Glove up for all that. We forgot to tell them that we know they're superheroes. Oh. Guys, listen. Um, I don't feel like pressing, <laughs> pushing this button again for them to take another 20 minutes, but they are, they are Avengers, yeah. and they should be made to believe that they are. Let's hope so, these Yeah, I think one of the heroes is over here. It looks like this one took a... It looks like this one took a selfie in an airport bathroom, doesn't it? <laughs> Holy crap, it's like a guy I went to school with. <laughs> but it's not. Is it, are you sure? The nicest guy here has been the gentleman you won't see on camera, but just trust me, he's not on camera, but he's a really nice guy. <laughs> you have a pleasant day. Enjoy. I hate to say it, but go Patriots. Uh, he doesn't look like a nice guy anymore. He might want to beat me. I think he could take me too. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> he said. He said. Yo, people are real serious about their cowboys out here. Yeah. And 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 the cowboys are real serious too about losing. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, just ask Tony Romo. You won't see him in a uniform, but you will see him calling a game. Woo.
Absolutely. We'll catch you on the next one. Subscribe to Harvey Freebird. Thank you. Subscribe to AFA. You probably already are. And that's the reason we got, I mean, not rich today, but I stopped you today.